to present the award for most promising engineer, PhD, please welcome the Director of Information Resources Directorate and Chief Information Officer for NASA Johnson Space Center, Ms. Annette Moore. From the moment he arrived at NASA's Johnson Space Center, Dr. Bara Kili Rina began making significant contributions to NASA's mission. His work maintaining medical hardware on the International Space Station earned him two prestigious awards within two years. The Silver Snoopy, which is given to less than 1% of NASA's workforce, and the Johnson Space Center Director's Commendation Award. Dr. Rena repaired a broken International Space Station defibrillator and then created a mechanism to certify an automated external defibrillator for space. This saved the government about $2 million. Next, he worked on converting his unique process into a generic streamlined process for the certification of commercial off-the-shelf hardware for space. In support of NASA's human research program, Dr. Rennes' research is focused on identifying and solving complex knowledge and technology gaps related to the risk of treating ill or injured astronauts on exploration class missions. Although Dr. Reyna works with some of the brightest minds in his field at NASA, he knows there are equally top quality scientists outside of his organization. He partnered with TopCoder.com to host an open innovation competition to create an algorithm that would minimize the size of a medical kit for an exploration class mission. He also regularly volunteers for NASA-sponsored education programs or educational booths and developed and teaches an electronics course to sixth graders. Dr. Reyna earned a master's degree and a doctorate of engineering from Texas A&M University, both in biomedical engineering. Esteemed guests, it is indeed my privilege to present the award for most promising engineer to Dr. Bada Kila Reyna. <laughs> Good evening. I'm uh, deeply honored and thankful to accept this award this evening. In preparing for tonight, I was reminded of a story that I was hoping to share with you. I'm uh, very fortunate to be able to teach an electronics class to a group of sixth graders in one of Houston's largely Hispanic schools. And one day after class, a young Hispanic girl came up to me and excitedly said, Dr. Reyna, I didn't know I could be good at science. I was thrilled by her enthusiasm. Every teacher wants to hear that. But I was also devastated by how truly shocked she was by her own success. Growing up, my role models, my parents, taught me that I could excel at anything as long as I was passionate and willing to work hard. So with that in mind, it is my hope that we Hispanics in STEM careers can serve as extremely visible role models to all young Hispanics, especially those in elementary and middle school, to demonstrate that not only can they be good at science, they can be great. Thank you so much.